hello everyone welcome to Salika mag in today's tutorial we will learn how to make a high waist band uh, so step by step first how to take your own body measurement and then marking cutting each thing is included in this uh, tutorial uh, even uh, you are beginner you can follow this tutorial first I am making here 3 inch fold for the belt or elastic and after folding this now I will measure um, my total total length uh, of uh, uh, the pen that is 37 inches uh, in next step i will also show you how you can take your own body measurement and then i'm adding here five inch uh, for the hemline fold so now let's learn how you can take your own body measurement uh, so uh, uh, first you need um, waist measurement so you can just take your waist and then the hip measurement and the crotch as you can see in the picture the crotch we will take um, after just sitting on a chair and that's how you can take your crotch and then the total length and uh, at the hem again it depends on your choice here I'm taking it 8 inches so all the other measurements are written on the screen you can check and replay the video so first I'm going to mark here the waistline that is here 12 inches after dividing my actual waist on 4 uh, so now the next is crotch line so after marking here crotch line my crotch line is 12 inches now I'm marking here the hip line uh, that is 14 inches so after that now this uh, the next step is to mark your hemline hemline is depend on your choice uh, and style here I'm marking it 8 but if you want a little narrow from down you can even make it um, 7 so now I'm using this leg shaper uh, scale uh, but you can check in my uh, playlist that um, how you can make your own pants without this scale so now uh, after that I'm adding here 5 inches for the hemline fold you can take it even 2 inches if you don't want your hem uh, very wider uh, so now I'm adding here 1 inch all the way for the seam allowances so and after that I will just join it by this scale guys if you are first time on my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notification for all videos so now here I'm just marking at 8 inch uh, a slot line and then I just make here a curve on this crotch area and also I'm just adding here 1 inch for the seam allowance now, now uh, it's time to cut all the way Friends, if uh, this video is useful for you, please don't forget to hit the like button. It will really help me to grow on uh, YouTube and give me your feedback and let me know what um, next you want to learn. So now uh, our marking and cutting is um, done. Now it's time to stitch our beautiful pen. First, we will stitch this um, crotch uh, curve uh, from here to here same way we will do on the next and uh, if you notice that uh, I didn't cut here the front and back separate because um, I'm making it high waistband so uh, I need my waistline also um, the same so now it's time to stitch these legs uh, area so first I will start from one side and will um, stop on the crotch area and then I will st uh, start from the other leg and then um, um, stitch till uh, uh, my crotch area so in this way uh, my both legs will be equal and this um, center point will also match hope you understand my point if any confusion you can ask me in the comments and um, it is always a good idea that you sti uh, double stitch your uh, pen uh, so that uh, it will be more secure uh, so I'm just sharing this as a tip because um, Taylor usually if you notice and uh, that they are uh, um, always double stitch so now see our this um, till here the pen is uh, done now it's time to fold our uh, hemline first and then I will show you how we uh, will make belt and elastic so first just fold it here and if you are a beginner i would suggest that uh, use a iron at this point so that your hemline will be neat and properly press it fold it and then uh, go to the sewing machine so now uh, i'm just uh, 
going to stitch here and then uh, we'll show you that how uh, you can make the belt see i just removed this uh, free arm on my machine so it will be easy um, to stitch this um, um, round shape uh, of my hemline guys if you are beginner you can check in my playlist i already cre uh, created a complete course for beginners so now it's time to uh, add the elastic for elastic first you measure your um, waist or else uh, you can uh, just minus the four inches from your actual waist and then i just stitch from here uh, the elastic and then it's time to uh, mark the center and sides of the elastic so uh, so that you can equally stitch all the way now it's time to just fold it like this way and stitch it and make sure that uh, if you are beginner that your stitch will not on the elastic so while you are stitching your elastic will move in this way you uh, you can easily manage all your elastic so let me show you on the machine how you can do this so now i'm on my machine and i'm just folding it and stitching it by keeping in this um, uh, mind that my stitch is not on the elastic so every time i just stretch my elastic so now after that by just hand just make it equal and now it's uh, your choice if you want one more stitch here or um, otherwise this is okay uh, and now see my hemline is also done uh, you can fold it again if you want to create this look otherwise uh, the simple one folding is also okay it totally uh, depend on your choice now uh, it's time to make a belt i just take here uh, this piece of uh, fabric and now i'm going to make hair belt uh, just uh, stitch all the way by leaving some opening just uh, cut the edges so that when you will turn it uh, inside out it will be easy and um, neat so now i'm turning from this uh, open side see this two inches i, I just uh, left it uh, open so turn it inside out press it properly and then again stitch all the way now it's time to make make the loops so i just take this um, piece of uh, fabric and now i just fold it like this way and uh, will attach it uh, on um, my this pants something like this you can stitch um, on both way and then uh, attach your um, belt so you can put it uh, two on the back side and two in the front um, or three in the back side and two in the front is up to you that's how your pants will look hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button 